Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today's video is on the five things that you need right now to put in your arsenal before they're no longer available anywhere at any store, online, or anything else. These are the five things that you have to get, and you need to get them now, because people, they're running scarce on a lot of these products. And that's coming up next on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. So what could be the five things that you need to make sure that you're buying right now? And I'm not talking about any type of food products. Well, maybe one of them could be, but it's not what you're thinking. It's not like flour, sugar, salt, yeast, any of these type of things, okay? What I'm talking about is some products to make sure that you can survive, to make sure that you have a way to manage through the storm, okay? So follow me. These are the five top things that you need to be purchasing right now. You can go on my Amazon storefront, just click the link below in the description, and you'll see there's a lot of products and everything right in there. A lot of these products are in there, and you can go in there, click and buy them, and be done with it if they're still available folks because they're going like hotcakes so let's get started on this in no particular order number one seeds seeds of any kind okay want to make sure that you're trying to pick up your seeds now even if you don't plan on maybe starting the garden this year or whatever but you want to make sure that you have them in case you can fall back on them. Now here's the issue. I've went on to a couple of different sites, Burpee being one of them, one of the largest seller of seeds, okay? Because I've been getting all these emails and they're saying, oh, buy your seeds now for this coming year. You know, I go on there, they're not available. Well, I buy heirloom seeds, okay? So that could maybe be why. They don't have hardly anything in heirloom seeds. If you want to buy the other seeds that could be genetically modified or whatever, you can go that route. But I like the original, good old fashioned, regular seeds. Okay? Now, you can get these kits, you can buy them on Amazon. Um, they have really gone up in price since I purchased this one three years ago. All right? But getting some seeds and things will help you along the way with some of these other products, okay? So number two, we've all heard about what is taking place right now with what's going on with the shortages of the food and everything else. Well, there's one main shortage that people aren't really talking about too much, and that is fertilizer. Now, fertilizer is something that's very important for farmers to put down so they get a larger yield. They get a better crop. It helps to deter like the, the insects and, and diseases and all this different types of stuff. So having fertilizer is a very good thing. Now I did notice that when I went online, there wasn't a lot of fertilizer that was available, but I was able to pick up a couple bags of this these fertilizers all right okay I mean it's something and they actually had these suckers on sale folks it was six bucks a bag and it was 50% off so I got two because you just don't know all right so making sure you're picking up some fertilizer um, if you don't have good soil around your house, you may want to pick up some soil, potting soil, um, gardening soil, some peat moss, um, maybe some bone meal, like that has bone meal in it. Um, you just have to see what kind of fertilizer it is that you're getting. Um, this way here, you would have some way to plant your seeds and stuff, and hopefully, if you tend to them, you know, you're gonna get a good yield being that you do have some fertilizer to put on those things. Now you ask yourself, oh, well, you know, I live in an apartment or I, you know, I live in a townhome. I really don't have any yard or anything to do. Um, 
outside where I can plant. Well, that's why you need to start stocking up on your five gallon buckets. You five gallon buckets. All right. Now, the reason I say that, make sure you get lids. All right. You can use these five gallon buckets and you can store your food and stuff in these. You can also use these five gallon buckets to plant your vegetables in. They're perfect for planting potatoes in. You can plant tomatoes in them. You can plant anything in these things, okay? So if you have these five gallon buckets, and they're going quick in a lot of stores. Now it just depends on where you live. A lot of people say that they can get all this kind of stuff and everything else, and that's great. I'm so glad that there's still part of this country that might be somewhat normal in the stores. But unfortunately, if you live in a highly populated area, buying things like this is getting very difficult because a lot of people are starting to see that they can have multiple uses for these buckets. All right. So if you have these buckets with your seed, your soil, your fertilizer and everything else, you got a makeshift garden that you can put right on your back patio, folks. And guess what? You're going to have fresh vegetables. You could plant a fruit tree in there if you wanted to. All right. Now going right along that same lines. All right. Once your harvest happens, now you got to do something with it, right? What are you going to do? Well, you might want to start stocking up on some good old canning jars, folks. You know, the good old canning jars. All right. Now, some stores don't have them. I did purchase a whole bunch of them online through Walmart. Got a really good deal. Filled a closet full of them. All right. So you can still find them out there. You may be paying more than what you're used to, but that's just the name of the game nowadays, folks. It's how everything is. Everything has gone way up in price. There's nothing we can do about it, but we have to plan accordingly so this way here we can survive. Now, not only having your canning jars and stuff, but when your fruits and stuff start all coming in, yes, you could blanch and freeze a lot of them. You could make, with your tomatoes, you could make sauce and all this other kind of stuff. You may want to make sure that you're picking up the good old dehydrator. All right, picking up one of these bad boys, I think it's less than 60 bucks. This is on my Amazon storefront, all right? You pick up one of these bad boys and you can dehydrate a lot of your vegetables. Then you can store them in your canning jars or there's other ways of doing those things. I've done videos and everything else on it, but you can use these, this machine, to do your harvest and you can dry it right up so that you have it for a long period of time. You can store it in your canning jars and everything else. Now, if you store it in your canning jars and you do it that way, you could just put the lid on and throw an oxygen absorber in there, maybe a silica pack because that'll draw the moisture out. The oxygen absorber will take out the air. All right, you could do that and you'd probably be pretty safe as long as you dry them properly. I would suggest buying a book if you're not too familiar with drying vegetables, meats, and all that kind of stuff. This way here, it'll help you through, give you a good idea of what you got to do, if you get what I'm saying. Because you don't want to ruin your hard earned money and all your hard work that you did planting your garden or your buckets and everything else, and then it all goes bad. So, for a bonus, I would say pick yourself up a vacuum sealer one of these bad boys right here a food saver all right I love mine this is in my Amazon storefront with the bags and everything that I buy that I've been using for years all right this one has the attachment right here that will go right onto the lids and this way here you can vacuum seal your products now if you're gonna blanch them and you want to freeze some of these things and you got a vacuum sealer. You vacuum seal your vegetables and things right in there, throw them in your freezer. Guess what? When you vacuum seal like that with your meats and your vegetables, whatever it is that you vacuum seal, you just extended the life of that product past a year by just throwing it in a freezer because it pulls all the air out of it. Now, if you're going to be vacuum sealing that kind of stuff and put it in a freezer, 
Remember, you don't need to put an oxygen absorber in that type of stuff with your meats or your blanched vegetables or anything like that. That goes right in the freezer and you don't have to worry about it. All right. So this has been the five things that I think that everybody out there, especially all you new preppers, need to have right now and that you need to make sure that you're getting because this stuff is going like hog wild. And like I did say, it's all in my Amazon storefront. So in the description below, there's a little link. Click on that, that'll take you to the Amazon storefront. Shop away, folks. Get the products you need. And these are really great products. I've been using them for a long time. And I like them. I highly recommend them. And this way here, you can secure the food that you need for you and your family for years to come. Because a lot of this stuff, you can store it away for a rainy day in case you need it. Get what I'm saying? So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope everybody stays safe. You keep prepping. Share this video. And don't forget to hit the Amazon storefront in the description below. And this way here, you can see all the products and everything that I would recommend that I use and everything else. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there, folks. So get shopping. Till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Thank mm -hmm. you.